There's a reason why you attend clubs on a regular basis. There's a reason why you're here tonight. One of the many themes I was going to share with you was excellence, achieving excellence. A lot of the speeches and presentations I give have some type of an excellence theme. But I was thinking to myself, I was getting out of my car, walking to the front door. We don't need to talk about excellence. We're already excellent, aren't we? Yes, sir. We see excellence every single day. We see amazing meetings. We see great speeches. We see great offices. We even see great terms. The challenge is to have that excellence every single time with every single member. It's not necessarily the excellence, it's the culture that we need to build. Doesn't matter if the president is here that day, the VP of Education steps right in. Doesn't matter if the whole leadership changes because there's a culture within that club, within that area, division, district, region, across the world that is so ingrained in our DNA that we just do things the way we're supposed to do it because that's the way it's always been done and that's the way it's supposed to be done. Culture is what we're looking for. Now as I share these things with you, I would love just once to ask you this question. You're going to go off in a few minutes to learn about your individual officer roles. And when I prepared to come here this evening, I hopped on the internet, Toastmasters.org, of course, and I read something. And I'm going to give you a quote. It's not mine, so don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> I read a quote. You can read it yourself. It said, the president role is the most important position in the Toastmaster Club. I thought about it for a while, as many of you non-presidents are thinking about it right this minute. <laughs> about that for a while and I agreed that that is, I 100% agree that that is a true statement because without the president you have no leader, you have no chief executive officer, you have nobody to make sure that everything ties together, that all the individual roles are happening the way that they're supposed to happen. You don't have somebody who represents you at the district level, who votes for you, who makes sure that all those things that are supposed to happen, happens. That's the most important position, absolutely. Now that VP of Education, that is the most important position. <laughs> it really is. Because without the, without the Vice President of Education, you have no agenda. You have no people actually giving speeches. And the speeches they give, they may not even be manual speeches. And if they give a manual speech, maybe they're not even tracked and recorded and submitted so you're not getting credit. Without the VP of Membership, you're nothing. That's the most important position. Isn't it? Yes. VP of membership. Now that, that 100%, I believe in my heart and soul, the VP of membership is the most important. VP of membership, who agrees with me? Absolutely. Without members, an organization is nothing. Without the VP of membership, we would not have survived over 80 years. 90 plus countries, 220,000 members worldwide as a result of all those hundreds upon hundreds of hard-working vice presidents of membership. Now some of you may be thinking the, the vice president of public relations. You got it. That, no, no, I don't care what I just said, that yeah, is the most important role, the most important in all the clubs. Without the vice president of public relations, nobody even knows who you are or where you are, or when you meet. They can't come to join you if they even wanted to. You're not even on the map. Without that, you have nothing. You're meaningless. You're just a, a figment of someone's imagination. The secretary role. You know where I'm going. <laughs> it is, by far, 100% on a stack of Bibles, the most important <laughs> position in any club. Anywhere in the world, if you don't have that secretary, you can't even qualify as a real club because you don't have any officers, because they're not submitted, and all of a sudden you have foregone the absolute easiest part of this Distinguished Club program, which is submitting your officer room on time. You have to have a secretary doing what he or she is supposed to do. That treasurer, if you, the treasurer, the treasurer, That's really. Me. 
Susan. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> you have the most important role in any club. Because without the treasure, money just flies all over the place. Actually, it's not collected because the members don't pay because there's no treasure. And the money that does get collected, doesn't get submitted, are submitted on time, and you can't utilize any excess resources to have those open houses and all the things you need to do. And if God forbid you actually get a letter from the IRS, which happens from time to time, doesn't it? There's nobody who can respond and make sure that everything is done the way it's supposed to be. You have the most important role in your club. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Except the Sergeant of Arms, of course. <laughs> because that, that is the most important role in your club. Without the Sergeant of Arms, you don't even have a place to meet. You don't have a lectern, you don't have a flag, you don't have a banner, you don't have the timer, you don't have anything. Without that loyal, dedicated, hard-working Sergeant at Arms, your meetings don't start on time, they don't end on time. Chaos! What's the moral of the story? I'm not saying that you can't, let's just say, coast in any or all of those positions and not get through your year. You can't. We've seen it, haven't we? Oh, yeah. Let's submit the list from last year and let's just kind of do it. We won't meet because we meet every single week anyway. We've seen people coast, but we've also seen excellence. I have been able to do some amazing things personally and professionally over the last two and a half, three years. And I attribute most of that, well, to me. But I attribute most of that to Toastmasters as a structure, as an organization, as practice, as that second set of eyes and ears, as the evaluation, as the relationships, as helping me achieve my personal and professional goals through communication and leadership skills development. Absolutely amazing organization. It is what you put into it. You can achieve whatever you desire as a result of your involvement in this organization. It's up to you. It's up to us. While our peers are at home, who knows, watching Dancing with the Stars or something, <laughs> we're here doing what some people call the lonely work, the work of champions, doing the things necessary to achieve the goals that we have. And it's such an honor to be part of this organization. And I look forward to interacting directly with the presidents later on for their training and throughout the year in the future. So let's have a fantastic year and go Toastmasters. <laughs>